Today, we're going to be learning about the four chambers of the heart. The heart consists of four chambers in which blood flows. Blood enters the right atrium and passes through the right ventricle. The right ventricle then pumps the blood to the lungs where it becomes oxygenated. The oxygenated blood is brought back to the heart by the pulmonary veins, which enter the left atrium. From the left atrium, blood flows into the left ventricle. The left ventricle pumps the blood to the aorta, to the aorta which will distribute the oxygenated blood to all parts of the body. As previously stated, the heart is divided into four chambers that are connected by heart valves. The upper two chambers are called atria. Atria are separated by an internal septum into the left atrium and right atrium. The lower two chambers of the heart are called ventricles. Atria receive blood returning to the heart from the body, whereas ventricles pump blood from the heart to the body. The atria of the heart receive blood returning to the heart from other areas of the body. The right atrium receives blood returning to the heart from the superior and inferior vena cava. The superior vena cava returns deoxygenated blood from the head, neck, arm, and chest regions of the body to the right atrium. The inferior vena cava returns deoxygenated blood from the lower body regions, for example, legs, back, abdomen, and pelvis, to the right atrium. The left atrium receives blood returning to the heart from the pulmonary veins. The pulmonary veins extend from the left atrium to the lungs and bring oxygen-rich blood back to the heart. The lower two chambers of the heart are called ventricles. They are separated by a septum into the left ventricle and the right ventricle. The upper two chambers are called atria. Atria is, and vent ventricles pump blood from the heart to the body. Due to the force needed to pump blood to the body, ventricles have thicker walls than do atria. The ventricles of the heart function to pump blood to the entire body. The right ventricle receives blood from the right atrium and pumps it to the main pulmonary artery. The main pulmonary artery extends from the right ventricle and branches into left and right pulmonary arteries, which extend to the lungs. Here, oxygen-poor blood picks up oxygen and is returned to the heart via the pulmonary veins. The left ventricle receives blood from the left atrium and pumps it to the, aor to the aorta. The aorta carries and, distribute and distributes oxygen-rich blood to the rest of the body.